We'll begin here at six with General Motors, the biggest restructuring that we've seen at the company since the bankruptcy. The automaker announcing its plans for next year do not include several car models and the plants that make them. GM will discontinue the Chevy Impala, Chevy Volt and Chevy Cruze. They will idle five plants in North America, including Detroit Hamtramck, home to more than 1,300 hourly and nearly 200 salaried workers, and Warren Transmission, employing 265 hourly and 75 salaried workers. Workers, of course, were not happy to hear this news today. Right now, uh, it's not going to be much of a Christmas, so it's pretty bad. And that's why I came here to see what's going on, because I need to get back to work. A lot of workers, no doubt, yeah. sharing her same sentiment. A General Motors tipped its hand about the kinds of cost cutting it wants to do by offering voluntary layoffs to 18,000 white collar workers last month. But not enough took them, and GM now following through with its promise of layoffs if enough weren't taken. The company, though, also upped the ante. So now more than 14,000 employees, white and blue collar, are the layoff targets. Business editor Rob Maloney now with a look at what's behind this very aggressive move by GM. When Rod, uh, the profits and things have been pretty good. They've been very good, but I think that's at the key to this, Devin, because they're doing this while they can and not when they have to, which could end up causing the company a whole lot more pain. Now, there's a lot going on in the industry. GM promising it wants to go all electric and soon. SUVs are the hot sellers. That list that Kim Kimberly read there, that's all cars. And also, GM wants its workforce to be much smaller, smarter, more nimble, and quick changing. And so behind all of that comes these kinds of layoffs. The low-selling hybrid Chevy Volt is old technology replaced by the Bolt. Cars like the LaCrosse aren't selling either. Ford and Chrysler already largely out of the car business. And auto trader analyst Michelle Krebs says... We've all been waiting for GM to address the car issue. Not well received. New UAW President Gary Jones is angry, saying, quote, We must step away from the anti-worker thinking of seeking simply the lowest labor cost on the planet. We must understand that these companies, including GM, are no longer in trouble. They're recording annual profits in the tens of billions. To that end, the UAW and its membership will do its part to convince GM and all American employers that the American consumer market should support American-made products by building where we buy products, end quote. A disappointed Mayor Mike Duggan talked about his morning phone call with Mary Barra. And I reminded her uh, that we moved thousands of people out of that neighborhood, hundreds of businesses, six churches and a hospital, uh, to create uh, that assembly plant. And I felt that the city of Detroit uh, deserved more consideration. Former GM Vice Chairman Bob Lutz believes... I'm convinced that the UAW realizes, just like everybody else, that if there is no demand for a certain car and no demand for that plant, the plant closes down because you cannot have workers show up every day and get paid and not produce anything. And so what this leads to is a very, very tough negotiation next summer for the UAW national contract. General Motors essentially laying down the gauntlet saying you want to keep a plant like DHAM open, then you're going to have to negotiate, you're going to have to give up something. A smaller workforce is likely to be part of that. So these negotiations next summer, that handshake that they're going to have across the table, it's not going to be so friendly. Back to you, yeah, Deb. Sounds like those negotiations could be tough. So, Rod, this is a really bold move by Mary Barra. What is she really looking to accomplish here? Well, what she's looking to do is to make General Motors into the company that all of her predecessors had hoped to make but could not do. It's a bold move in that she wants Wall Street to like General Motors. Now, the stock is up 5% tonight after today's announcement. She also wants to make it a technology company, and she wants to make a lot of autonomous electric vehicles, but she has to have the money to be able to do that because there's no profit in that right now. She's got a lot of masters to serve, and trying to keep the UAW happy is going to be very difficult in that, too. So this is going to be, like I said, a very tough negotiation next summer. And you can understand all that, but just at this time, right before the holidays, it's just kind of so hard to, isn't it? yeah. to hear.